These red velvet brownies are inspired by that new Disney Pixar movie, Turning Red. They're so easy to make, you only need one bowl, no electric mixer, and they have the perfect fudgy texture with crackly tops. Start off by combining sugar, melted butter, and salt in a bowl and whisk. And then you wanna add in your two eggs, crack those right into the bowl, and whisk, whisk, whisk. This is gonna take about 30 to 60 seconds. You want it to fall off the whisk in ribbons, and it's gonna thicken up just like this. Red velvet desserts always have a little bit of a tang, so I added a bit of apple cider vinegar. You could also add white vinegar or even lemon juice if you prefer. Use gel red food coloring to give it that bright, vibrant red color and sift in your dry ingredients. Flour and cocoa powder. This will help break up any lumps in the cocoa powder and give your brownies a smooth, even texture. Gently fold with a spatula. Don't over mix. You want to stop mixing just until you stop seeing dry streaks of flour. Halfway through, I added in my chocolate chips. So I added milk chocolate hearts that I found and mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. You don't want to over mix these because it will create a cakey, tough brownie. So I as soon as you stop seeing dry streaks of flour, put your spatula down. Line an 8x12 or 9x12 pan with parchment paper and scoop in all of that batter. Spread it out with a spatula. You might have to hold the parchment paper with one hand so it doesn't slide around. Mm -hmm. And top with more chocolate chips. I topped with more cho milk chocolate hearts and more semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. Bake until the edges are set and the middle is still a little bit underdone. It will continue baking as it cools, giving you that beautiful fudgy texture. Once fully cooled to room temperature, use a clean knife to cut it into slices. Make sure you're cleaning the knife every time you make a cut for clean slices. These are perfect for a turning red themed party or anyone else who likes red velvet desserts. Let me know what you think in the comments.